Yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. What's that uh, spot bot?
It's not broken yet. Sorry, I messed up in the morning to kind of explain what was going on here, but I was in a rush. So we just got some uh, some miscellaneous stuff, shop transfer, wind, lots of wind. Someone's gonna complain. Ah, uh, let's see. So we got uh, this is for coil tubing. I got some BOPs, clevises. It's supposed to be a stripper. Not that kind of stripper. This is, oh, that's in there. That's tight. More clevises. I don't know what these are. I think these go. Oh, these what hold the coil, I think. You got the these go in the side of the coil. This pins to the top of this like a spreader bar. Two of them. Three of them. Sorry. Three pallets of clevises. Put my AC crapped out though as soon as I went to uh, got to Nisku to get a retorque on all the new tires. <sighs> it was getting humid and hot. And uh, yeah, so I thought I would check it out and do some fudging and looking and now it made it worse. <laughs> now the engine light's on. So I just shut the batteries off. I was just Pulling batteries, or not batteries, wires off of uh, like the compressor and stuff. The compressor's not cycling, so. It still runs, so that's, whoops, windows are open. It's only like 40 above, so we'll just roll with her. So gay. It's always the worst time to happen is when it happens. It's like how oh, I checked it the other day in the shop. I'm like in the shade in the shop where it was cold first thing in the morning. Yeah, I was having okay things. Like lately it's been okay until about mid-afternoon and then it got really poopy. And weak. Like gave Buddy a lift up the right away when we we're doing swamp mats out of Jasper, and he's like, "It's kind of humid in here." I'm like, "Yeah, it gets bad as I sit around and do nothing." So it's just fucking straight hot, fresh air in. Oh, the heater shut. It's colder outside than it is in the truck. Unfortunately, ain't got no time to do anything about it. I got just enough time to get the GP get loaded so I can do something else. Come home and that means. See you there.
pull just to roll up the windows just to have a small conversation here right now. It feels like the wind that's blasting in the windows is like what it would be like if your heater was on full blast. Like I shit you not, well, sticking to the seat, pretty good. Um, getting up close and personal with every bug that uh, runs along the highway here as they <laughs> yeah, flying in, land on my lap. I'm like, oh, no, there's bugs. Paper towel earplugs, because I don't have any earplugs. I probably do, but I'm not going to spend the time to stop and look because it is hot ass. It's like 40 above. That's hot. Leather seat, they said. That'd be awesome, right? Got some fracking going on over here. Balkers going in. Looks like they're putting in turning lanes on all these oil field roads finally. Now that the oil fields doesn't exist. And yeah. Oh my dear lord, it's hot. I don't think I've ever had to experience this hot and drive. We've always been like at a pool or a lake or something. Yeah, it completely cropped up so the, the AC clutch is not, uh, it's not turning on the pump. Something happened earlier today. Checked all the fuses, uh, relays under the hood and under the dash here. Couldn't find anything like, well, I can't check the relays because I don't have a test light or ohm meter or anything like that, which I should. Maybe I do in the toolbox, but yet again, I don't know, I'm on time constraints. I got to get there. We'll be there at four. Well, we'll be there before four. We'll be right around four. Because they were like, uh, you got to be there before five. So I'm like, I don't really have time to waste. I got to stop, maybe get fuel. We got to just, eh, we should be good. It's the first time I've ever seen the temp gauge at 200 as well. She's a work for the old girl. So yeah. Get there, get unloaded, reloaded. Man, I'm praying for like a thunderstorm, some clouds. Like Alberta is usually pretty good for about 5 p.m., 6 p.m. We get like mass clouds rolling. Like I think, uh, I don't think I've seen one cloud. It's so hot. It's just like a blur of heat up above. You know it's hot when it looks like this. Oh, my God. oh they're making a lease right there. Good news, yeah. So no AC, no mufflers, windows down. Makes for uh. That's why I got the paper towel in my ears. I'll be asking at the shop, I'm like, you guys got any earplugs? Can really help a guy out. Oh, dear Lord, it's hot. It's got the case of water from Jasper, so I've been like smashed, already smashed like uh, four. And I'm four hours in. Well, smashing one an hour. Just to make sure I don't pass out at the wheel. even have in the window open it just doesn't help at all it keeps you from sweating now you see I'm getting a little wet my arms are getting a little wet I'd show you the black seat but it won't show up it's just a sticky mass running off my arm and I know lots of people like there's guys there's companies out there that do not fix their AC they're just like oh it, buy a new truck, once the AC stops working, they're like, well, maybe we'll fix it next year, maybe. And then guys just suffer, they're like, shit, I can imagine having to, like, go pull out some line right now, doing some double line, work my butt off, chain that down to get into my hot-ass truck, just to slowly go through the bush, eating dirt and dust, to unload, to just do it all over again. God. And that's why I see a lot of us uh, rig movers or service workers, we're all like toothpicks. Because we have to like uh, put up with conditions like this. Actually, this is the first time I've 
It's been a long time since I've had to suffer without AC. I've been fairly pampered for a long time, so this is even harder for me because I've been such a baby. But all right. For like another hour and 40 minutes we'll be there. And we'll unload if the camera doesn't overheat, which surprisingly it hasn't yet. It's pretty warm, very warm. Die, you guys know what happened to me. Jeez Louise. I was even sat in the fucking hot sun, hot leather seat. Sat in Buddy's truck for a while there. I'm like, dude, can I borrow some AC? I'm about to fall over. I drank like four things of water while I was sitting here, but it's all hot as tea. Fired the cooler up, rifled some in there. Hopefully I can get home. Unfortunately, I still got like six and a half hours home. I still got five hours of sunlight. Hate summer.
trapped in the sunlight right there. <laughs> I leaned on the armrest and burnt my arm. Had to resort to the uh, largest Slurpee a guy can buy. I'm sure that'll be melted in like 10 minutes. <sighs> Keep up those electrolytes, you don't wanna faint. I'm starting to get a bit of a headache, but I got a feeling it's from the straight pipes and the windows down. Shit, I forgot to look for earplugs while I was in there. God damn it. Got the welfare ones. Ow. Valley view. Oh, fuck. It's always hottest before uh, mid evening, of course, so it is that right now. the hot air feels like coming from the engine with the windows down just blows straight in the cab so it's like being strapped to a giant air dryer.
night. The following day, of course, got some bugs. After the sun went down, it got pretty bad. I had, I had all sorts of bugs in here by the time I came in and did my paperwork. And it was, it was everybody, all the tractors are working. Picker is not working. Sounds like we're gonna have some uh, some frag stuff coming up. Supposedly, Orleans is drilling again, so that means I'll be in line to do some frack action. Meh. Just means tanks and mats. Better get a new matting sling. I still have last year's. So yeah, we'll go and unload the goods and. Uh, well, it's kind of cool out still. Have somewhat, have some AC. And uh, stop at the car wash, rinse this thing off quickly. Got soot on the hood. It's a big gob of soot over here on the sleeper then. We got a wash bay, but we don't really have the best soap. And the only thing I found to take off soot easily is sunlight. And the truck wash that I use, they give you a bucket, sunlight, and a brush, and a mitt if you want it which I do use a mitt to get in in all the spots so I don't have to smash everything with a brush. Uh, it won't get too carried away because it's gonna get hot again today. So we'll get this unloaded, hit the car wash, and then uh, come back and try to get another recharge. We're gonna investigate something. I don't know. I'll talk to him when I get back. Trying to get out of the Trans Mountain stuff. Um, well, I'm not trying to get out of it. If Orleans is drilling, that means the fracks will be coming up right quick here, so I can't be stuck at Trans Mountain. So we're gonna rig up. Okay, you see that over there? Uh, that tractor, I think. Um, so a couple of the guys that are out there running, doing stuff, just have like a square tubing in welded to the subframe. And then they just have bunks that come out like owl brackets. They have two. And uh, they have big bunks and it seems to be working alright unless it rains. There's some very tight turning places where you gotta turn around like Austin Powers. And if they kind of uh, suffer in that department because they don't have all that, they don't have the oil field bumper, and they got the Wade with the big sleeper, puts uh, puts the mats that much further back, so it makes less weight on your drives, where us with the small bunks and the heavy oil field bumper, and the C5, not always, but it does a little bit better. But anyways, if I can get out of it, so be it. Um, I like the money, the paycheck is awesome. But uh, it kind of renders me useless for my YouTube. And uh, I don't have all the bits to be able to make content while I'm in my hotel room, nor do I have time. And you can see I'm already suffering. I forget stuff all the time. I already seen again that I had it. Of course, by the time this comes out, it'll be freaking almost a month down the road that I forgot a few videos here and there thought I was good and sometimes uh, I just didn't have time and then as soon as I got back I went camping and I was camping I had little to no service and uh, I don't have ways to access I can access it on my phone but if the service isn't good then it doesn't do the things I asked YouTube studio to do it's like post this video I'm like okay I'm good and then I'll the day I'll come, it's supposed to post, and then I'm like checking out the numbers and stuff, and then just, I'm, I'm like, where is it? It's not there. And then by then it's already too late. So I apologize for that. Poopy stuff does happen. So let's go, we'll unload this, wash up, and get this AC checked out.
Sleeping with the enemy. Oh, I just made a bunch of dust. That wasn't me. <laughs> I did. I did. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Fake dust. Hot, hot outside. So yeah, this is Jules. Jules' yard. A couple of my friends from road train work here. It goes that sweet 80k truck. I love that truck. It's got the little side windows in the 36 inch bunk. So sweet. Got a couple of my ideas for my truck for that one. The rounded fenders and the, uh, what is it? Uh, the flares on the front bumper, how everybody always puts rubber. And I was like, no, aluminum, powder coated. Or not powder coated, we rhino lined them. And it turned out real good. I think it's coming this way. Get a sneak peek of a sweet drop. Oh, there's Downs. Wonder who bought that. I've seen it here actually a few times. Probably going to QA. But yeah, I stopped by, got a couple coffee mugs for my buddies, drop them off, see what's going on. Sounds like they just got a new T-bed, C5, big bunk, supposedly like it's uh, an extra, is it Fox, Fox Energy Services that had that one that I was talking about a little while ago in a Richie Bros sale, or did I? lose that footage I don't even remember. I think I lost that footage because yeah it was like my road train one but big bunk and it was an extra meter longer which is fine for Alberta not fine for really anything else leaving the province I don't know if they're relaxed on that nowadays but the Saskatchewan was kind of uh, wasn't letting people have like a really long wheelbase trucks you had to be this or that so yeah we'll have to stop in and check it out right now he's just got the uh camax special like my other t800 that's yeah it works it's bulky it's nothing special it's definitely not customized like you gotta put bunks on a truck, why can't they fold into the deck? Why do I have all these tripping hazards? I always hated them. It's a pain in the ass. But anyways, going home, get that pool up, get in that pool. It's my only form of keeping myself cool. Cattle trough. See you guys on the next one.
Uma ameaça foi detectada. Uma ameaça foi detectada.